Here is our review of the Railway Inn Country Cottages and Caravan Park up at Acklington. And as you can see, there's a Railway Inn or the pub on site where you can sit and have a drink outside. Or if you go inside, you can have a meal like we did. And there's plenty of selection for the whole family and prices were reasonable. If you don't fancy a meal, you can also still have a cheeky pint. And you can also sit outside with that if you want. So here is one side of the campsite. So I said in total there's 23 pictures. With the last main pitch. And this is where the elders whispers. Obviously over here you've got the toilets and facilities block which I'll show you in a little bit. And you have a couple of spaces here for camper vans or smaller motorhomes to fit in, maybe some overnight stuff. And I imagine there's some of it to be really good here having a beer outside and hopefully be able to socialise once it's more cold and pandemic is over. They also actually have a couple of cottages you can stay at here which you can rent out so maybe if you come up with your family and the rule of six doesn't apply when you get the video or you see this you can maybe hire a cottage and then you can all be together maybe one person or two or a motorhome and the rest could be in the cottage so yeah really nice uh, little section outside here and a nice summer's night to have a beer <laughs> pitch here so good size pitch hard standing as I said most are hard standing but some are on grass there's quite a bit of space here around the side of the pitch some pitches also seem to have water on tap or their own tap like a sort of partially service pitch ours was a little bit far away so we couldn't quite stretch a normal kit so you might need to bring a longer kit just in case you want a pitch like ours at number 11 which is really nice so here is an empty pitch with nothing on at the moment and you can see it's a really good size plenty of space to get your caravan motorhome or kind of camper on there and then probably a decent size awning or possibly a pop-up tent if that's what you want and then next to quite a few of the pitches are tables which again i think would be lovely on an even so you could sit out and have a bit chill or you can obviously watch the children play about it is quite quiet there's a speed limit so i'm just gonna have a quick look in the toilets now So this is the amenities block, you've also got the ladies on that side, washing in the middle and then the gents on this side, so I'll have a quick look and show you what it looks like in the gents, can't show you the ladies unfortunately. So coming in after you've got some cubicles with toilets in, you've got your sinks to wash with plenty of mirrors, you've then got over here three, so one, two, three shower cubicles and those two rhinos. I mean, it is. Relatively basic in here, but it does a job and actually the showers I quite like because they actually keep the water inside the cubicle. And then this is the other side of the campsite, so several pitches around here as well. And as you can see, some on grass and I also believe the top section can be used for tents at a type of time, maybe when it's a bit uh, sunny and a bit warm than it is now currently. Near the site itself you have Ackleton Station but I wouldn't wait there to get a train because they're very very infrequent. But if you're interested in your trains you can pop down to a beautiful station and you can see the trains flying them down the track. You could hear them from the campsite themselves but it wasn't a particular issue for us. As you can see the beautiful buildings around here. Also in the beautiful area of Ackleton we have the Fulmer Country Zoo which we visited. You can see a range of animals so there you can see a chameleon and we can see others there's plenty of animals inside and outdoor again currently covid safe and it was well done while we were there lastly in the area you also have Druridge bay which is a colossal size beach which goes for miles and miles both ways it also has a wildlife reserve while there so you can see other wildlife around the area or you can have a look around the lake there's plenty of activities for the children as well and there is a play area and a cafe there if that's what you decide Obviously there are other things up there, you can obviously go up to sea houses and uh, the Berwick area and go further north or you're not a million miles away if you wanted to visit Newcastle while you're there. So that's our view of the Railway Inn. In the top left as usual, there's a video that YouTube has picked for you. In the bottom right will be a playlist from our recent videos. Thanks for watching all caravan, motorhoming and county people.